Nekataka sees its share of smuggling. I doubt that would surprise anyone. But we've learned of our particular exchange that will have more dire effects than a few spoiled Hawana peasants. There are no peasants in the tribes. Your people created this term. Peace, man. They certainly aren't kings or queens, are they? There is a Royal Deadfire Company official by the name of Quarno, who has been meeting in secret with one of the Principi. I do not believe he works with the approval of his masters. He meets with a Captain Tola, a known pirate and smuggler. I hope I don't have to tell you that an alliance between a crooked royal official and the Principi is not the kind of trouble any of us need. I have a woman, Britza, waiting in the luminous bathhouse in Periki's Overlook. The smugglers do business there, and she has kept an eye on things. I promise to send assistance. Find her, and she will tell you what she knows. Of course, best to go in prepared. The discipline of the royal officers isn't really what any of this is about. I'm more concerned about the pirates. In this particular case, the companies share an enemy. A fine, valiant woman. Steady temperament. Good sense. The bathhouse sees an enormous number of patrons every day. It is a useful place to have a set of eyes and ears on hand. Only that Tola is a captain of middling repute and some small ambition. I expect she feels that a partnership with Quarna will give her an edge. Britza will know more. Excellent. Meeting you has been a stroke of luck, Watcher. I'll await your report. shaping feel like to Kehu? Like a thousand wet kisses with a delicate caress under the skin. <laughs> I may have... My calling. Gather your party before venturing.
For what is Aethys the god of light? Does he hold the sun in the sky? Yeah, actually. The sun wakes for Aethys, dead or alive. You got a problem with that? Akira? He steals the light from others. You want a bloody nose, fish face. Keep talking. Please, enjoy the baths. When you're ready to leave, I will provide you with a towel. You and I, we have a mutual friend, do we not? A royal dead fire operative, Quarno, and his principi associate, Tola, will meet tonight to discuss the details of a, a business arrangement. They have bought out the entire first floor for privacy's sake. Even Gunnar, their proprietor, will excuse himself. Only bathhouse attendants will be allowed to remain, to ensure their comfort. You understand? He is a snake in the body of a man. Though he is supposedly the Royal Deadfire Company's man, he always seems to be working some deal on the side. Tola is fond of drink, and her tongue flaps loosely when she has had too much of it. I will disguise you as a bathhouse attendant. So you might observe their meeting. With luck and some cunning, you may be able to discover the details of their special arrangement. You will not be able to take your gear, but do not worry. Should the situation get out of hand, there will be a stash of weapons hidden in one of the changing booths. But I am sure it will not come to that. They will not believe you an attendant if you carry a blade. But do not fear. I would not throw you to the wolves. Remember, 
Should you have need of them, there is a stash of weapons in one of the changing booths. I have had dealings with Tolar in the past, and I am certain she will recognize me. Hence why I have requested assistance from Director Castle, though it pains me to do so. Gelarde, then you will take your disguise, and I shall take your equipment, Ak. Take this rice wine as well. Perhaps you will find use of it, eh? Just say the word. Not a problem. If I grow hungry or thirsty, I will call for you. Until such a time, leave me in peace. Ah, what timing? Langin and all this war is making me thirsty. <sighs> Your face... weird. Have we met? <clears throat> it's probably the wine. Flatterer. I'm no queen of Nekitaka, but I do all right. I captain a ship for the Principe, and the big grouchy guy back there, Quano, works for the Royal Deadfire Company. Sometimes, when he's not doing stuff on the sides. Doing stuff like selling me cannons. That's what we're celebrating. Did I mention that? <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're great? Cause you are really great. You should ditch this stupid bathhouse. Join my crew. I just got a bunch of fancy new cannons from Quano. We'll be the terrors of the dead fire. He'll be fun. I'm gonna blow up some Valian trading company ships and take their luminous Ardra. But shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. No, I've already, already had too much. I still have no need of you. Not a problem.
Do you suppose a Hasongo was a kind of vengeance for Rawatai's assistance with the God Hammer? <laughs> oh, listen to me. It all sounds perfectly mad. Perfetto. What did you discover? Deverus? That is worse than I suspected. Please, explain. Spare me no details. Madiko, our convoy routes are meant to be a well-guarded secret. I might as well have sent the Principi a letter. That is enough to work with. Agressiva. I do believe I'm going to ruin Quarno's day. I do have another matter I could use your assistance with, Watcher. If you have a moment.